Um, I hope you're all well. Uh, Jess Crevice Hill here. Um, I saw Seb's and Ellie's cooking challenges and I thought they were fantastic. They both look delicious. So I am accepting Ellie's challenge and I am going to create a dessert for you today. So the dessert that I've chosen is chocolate brownies. I think everybody loves chocolate brownies. I definitely do. So um, I'm going to talk you through how I make my chocolate brownies. So first of all, in preparation, I've just melted 185 grams of unsalted butter and 185 grams of dark chocolate in this bowl. So that's all ready to go. So I'm just gonna let that cool down while I do the rest. Um, secondly, if you've got a mixer or whisk, whatever you have, perfect. I've got 275 grams of golden caster sugar in here. There you go. And I'm gonna pull that into my mixer. Then I'm going to add three large eggs. I'm trying not to make a mess while I'm doing this, or get any shell in the mixture. <laughs> oh goodness me, I've got loads of shell in there already. I'm going to put that there. Good tip the best way to get eggshell out of the mixture is with an eggshell. So I'm just going to scrape a little bit of extra that I've missed. There we go. And then I'm going to add my last egg. Just going to mix that up really well. And then I'm going to add my last egg. And then I'm going to add my last egg. And then I'm going to add my last egg. And then I'm going to add my last egg. And then I'm going to add my last egg. And then I'm going to add my last egg. And then I'm going to add my last egg. And then I'm going to add my last egg. And then I'm going to add my last egg. And then I'm going to add my last egg. And then I'm going to add my last egg. And then I'm going to add my last egg. And then I'm going to add my last egg. And then I'm going to add my last egg. And then I'm going to add my last egg. And then I'm going to add my Mix the golden caster sugar and eggs up for about six-ish minutes. So just nice and gentle there. Get that going. That's mixing away. My chocolate's already here, melted and cooling down. And the next step, once this is all mixed and all lovely and gooey, I'm going to add the chocolate to this mixture. That's looking good. And keep that mixing a little bit longer. And then once this is mixed properly, I'm going to add the chocolate to this mixture and then I'm going to add the cocoa powder, which I have here. So you're going to be adding 40 grams of cocoa powder and you're going to be adding 85 grams of plain flour and we're going to sift that into the mixture. So we're just waiting for this to finish. I'm going to grab my sieve. I am going to add all this lovely chocolate without spilling it anywhere, all over my sides. Again, remember it's 40 grams of cocoa powder here, and we've got 85 grams of plain flour going in. So, and we're going to sieve that into our mixture. So, once we're happy with that's all mixed up, you want to grab your sieve, and we're going to add the cocoa powder. And just sieve that in. And then we're going to add the plain flour. Just gonna 
all this flour and cocoa powder into the mixture. So you're just folding it in and thickening it up nicely. And next step, we're going to add some more chocolate, obviously, because they're chocolate brownies. Hopefully you've all done a workout, one of my Jenna's circuits, so you'll definitely deserve this if you've done that. Okay, so once that's all nicely folded in, we're going to add some more chocolate. So here in this bowl, I've just chopped up some white chocolate and some milk chocolate. So that's 50 grams of white chocolate, 50 grams of milk chocolate. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that in the top of the mixture. Make sure it all goes in. There we go. Perfect, and then I'm just gonna fold those broken bits of white chocolate and milk chocolate up into the mixture. All that chocolate. Okay, so we're pretty much there now. So all we need to do next is make sure you've got a nice tin about 20 centimetres deep, I would say, and then you want to line it with some parchment paper. So I'm going to use I'm going to use this tin here, so you can see the depth of it like that, and create quite a lot of mess. Up. I'm going to line it with some parchment paper. So I'll just pop that inside. And it'll just be much easier to get the brownies out once they're done. So once you're happy that that's all mixed up, I'm going to pour the brownie mixture into my tin. smell amazing. Hopefully they're going to taste amazing. Um, if you like the look of them, then why not give them a go at home?